Okay, now to complete this square, what we'll have to first of all do is take the first two terms and group them together. And from that, we take whatever is in front of the x squared and take it out as a common factor. Even if it's not a common factor, we are going to take it out as a factor. In this case, we're lucky. It does take out as a common factor, but we leave the negative 1 outside. Now on the inside, we're going to take that term in front, or the coefficient of x. And inside the bracket, we're going to add that half of that coefficient. In other words, half of 2 is 1. We're going to add half of this coefficient, 1, squared. So whatever the half of that coefficient is, we're going to square it, and that's what we're going to add. But I can't just add something in an expression. That would be unfair, me just adding what I want. I must go subtract it somewhere else, or add it on the other side to keep the balance. In this case, I added it, and I'm going to subtract it here. So I added that, and I need to subtract it. But I added it inside a bracket. And actually, what that 3 means is that there are 3 of those brackets. So I didn't just add it once. I added it 3 times. So I must go and subtract it 3 times, or just subtract negative, th or subtract 3. So now this uh, part inside the bracket will make we can factorize it and it will factorize into x plus 1 x plus 1 so x plus 1 squared minus 4 